going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, and we bring you Splinter's content every single day. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound uh, daily, so come by, say hello. We do giveaways every stream, and we do giveaways here every week. All you can do is leave your in game in the comments and pick up my favorite ones. So leave a thoughtful comment, something cool, something fun, uh, something that makes me think, or laugh. I don't know, something like that. All right, welcome back for this daily grind. For those of you who are new, all I did, I don't even know what day we're on anymore, but 30-something <laughs> days ago, we put uh, we put $10 in for the spell book, and that is it. We have built up probably over $100 of value. I haven't calculated, calculated it again recently since the 30-day mark, so I'll probably wait until we get to like 45 days and do like a full uh, cumulative value that we've, we've gotten. So this is my first grind session of the new season, and something I wanted to show was my power is at 1,500 naturally, right? Uh, with the cards that I have accumulated either through chests or that I've converted to converted PC. And so, in order to get 5,000 power, I rented some toys. And you can probably see them here. I rented Kitty, which gives me about a uh, thousand power and then a gold gin chihuahua which gives me 2500 so that 4000 gets me over the, the 5k mark to be bronze one and uh i am grinding i was at about 99 percent almost at 100 percent so i'm essentially ending my grind session right now at about 72 percent and so i say this battle i haven't even seen what's going to happen with this battle so we can go through uh, but I've just been having fun with Kitty and literally ripping my way through bronze, which has been nice. I was at about 400 rating before this started, so probably, I think we're over one chance just in a single guy. So, uh, but I, I had just, last night I had just played enough to get back into bronze too. It was interesting because in this account, I ended last season in Bronze 1, I believe. Uh, sorry, in Bronze 2. Oh, look at this. Ooh, 11 BEC. 11 BEC. 5k power and a 1000k rating. So in Bronze 1, we're winning 11 DEC per game. Not bad. And that's with a capture rate of 71%. So not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm at, I'm at a rating of about one, uh, 1,000 or over 1,000 right now. So if we go to balance history, to show how profitable this ended up being, you can see I've won a ton of games, right? It's been kind of nice. So I rented, let's go starting today. I rented uh, 29 for Kitty, and this is just a one-day rental. And then 15 for the Gold Gin Chihuahua, right? So about 45. I had started with 130 DEC, you can see here. And uh, right now I'm sitting at about 100 in profit, right? So I recovered the investment and I'm sitting at about 100 profit, which feels good. Which feels good. Whatever that song is. Um, okay, cool. So we are at, we're actually at a good spot right now for me to stop we got our earth quest and again i i was focusing on it but more so just having fun with kitty whenever i could uh so let's go ahead and do this oh what i wanted to mention was um that when i first started in the account i was only at 100 rating which meant that i was in bronze one or sorry bronze three which means i wasn't earning any dec and i got the little message there saying you know, uh, move up to bronze two in order to earn. And I had the power naturally for bronze two. I just didn't have the rating. So I had to work my way up to there. And I did most of that last night. And then as soon as I crossed that finish line right before this grind session, I, uh, that's when I went and rented kitty and just, just had some fun. I thought about renting Yodin, but that was just, that's a lot. <laughs> Whereas kitty was like 30 cents versus a dollar, right? 30 DEC versus a hundred DEC. Uh, so obviously much easier for me to make back and have a ton of profit. So I think I will be doing a lot more of renting this season. I don't know if I'll be going up to silver or not. I may try, but, um, you know, even just staying at the higher levels of bronze and renting to get, you know, higher power, I think could be a solid strategy. And I'm going to, I'm going to mess around with it. I may just like flirt with silver and go into silver. Obviously I won't have or rent the power for the entire season to stay in silver but it might be fun to just mess around with this account and see where we where we can go 
So let's go ahead. Ooh, Pelicor Deceiver. Look at that. All right, so we just increased our power by five. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good overall. I don't know what my next quest will be. But as of now, we are sitting comfortably in Bronze 1. Obviously, I'm not going to end the season in Bronze 1 unless I get some, like, gold foil uh, legendary coming out <laughs> coming out of one of those chests. So we shall see where things go. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end my grind session for today. It went essentially from 100% uh, down to 71%. And since I have these rentals for the next, like, 23, 22 and a half hours, what I will probably do is wait until like earlier tomorrow morning so maybe an hour or so before the rentals cancel or maybe two hours before the rentals are over and uh use up kitty and just do another grind session maybe even push this thing all the way down to like 50 percent ecr on this account so i'm trying to be much more calculated with this account and i think um you know as opposed to my main account where i own most of the cards and uh, I just play whenever I feel like it because it doesn't really matter to me, which is nice. Um, everything ends up being in a profit anyway, since I don't have to make back rental income and I don't have to maximize my ECR. This is the account that I'm going to do that on. And so it's going to be fun. You know, we'll, we'll be messing around. The market has been a little wonky today. But for the most part, you know, there's there's deals out there when you can find them. Um, let's go ahead and just check rentals. Because I feel like, you know, getting Kitty for 30 cents allowed me to breeze through bronze. And that's exactly what I wanted to do to kind of get to that 1K rating. We'll see, you know, how good my cards are to, to actually keep me up at that 1K rating. But I have a feeling either based on the quests or based on what I'm feeling, you know, that day or maybe what the deals are in terms of rentals that I will probably be messing around and having a little bit more fun with this account, right? So, so Yodin's about a dollar. Uh, Kron is 50 cents. Llama's about 82 cents. So yeah, I mean, look, oh, Kitty's 26 cents. So that's not bad at all. So I, m most likely I'll be messing around with summoners just because there's not too many like monsters that end up being OP. But uh, actually, I mean, you know, Oshanas is pretty great. So I don't know, we'll see. But I I'm, I'm having fun with the account. Uh, and we will be doing more rentals as opposed to last season where a lot of it was just, you know, work with what you have and then, and then go from there. So playing with Kitty was fun. Playing with Kitty was a lot of fun. As you can see, um, you know, we got a lot of wins here that pushed us above. So if Kitty's value, if Kitty's rental value stays, you know, relatively low, I think it's not, it's not difficult to make back about 25, 26 DEC if DEC or even 30 DC if DEC stays at about a penny. So, yeah, solid grind session today. We got a card, so this is where, this is what we're looking at right now in terms of our all of our owned cards. We got like, oh my gosh, we got five Pelicor Deceivers now, a level two. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is gonna be a ton of fun. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Quick update. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next video and around the game. Have a good one.